do 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 do. Robin Sunshine, do 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 do. Woo! Hi, I am Robin Sunshine, bringing you a little sunshine to your day. And welcome to Testimony Spotlight. So I was interviewing my grandma Debbie. She likes to design hats. And she creates, um, like, words on the sign at our family store, like this one. Humans are 90% water, basically cucumbers with anxiety. And she is there when I need a hug or someone to just be a friend to spend time with. And here's her story. Okay, so your first question is, when did you accept Jesus into your life? When I was 16 years old. That was in 1971, which was many moons ago. What was a time in your life when you felt close to God? Wow, there's been a lot of them. Probably when... I had my first baby. She was born with a birth defect. And I just knew that when she was three months old, she had to have surgery and she could be paralyzed or she could die from that surgery. And I just knew that God was going to take care of her and that everything would be fine. In fact, the pastor that was sat with us through the whole surgery couldn't believe how calm I was, but I I just knew God was going to take care of her, and he did. Today, she's beautiful, functioning, normal adult, and nobody would ever know that she ever had spina bifida. Our third question is, what changed in your life after accepting Christ? Well, like I told you before, in 1971, I accepted Christ, but in 1977, Christ became real in my life, and it was the most glorious thing because everything all of a sudden felt so right, and our lives together um, were centered on God, and we taught um, Sunday school. Uh, we did a lot of things in the church as we grew more and more, reading our Bibles, and I think my whole demeanor changed at that point. I just became, um, I came out of my shell. I became more well-rounded. And your fourth question is, if you could name a turning point in your life with your relationship with God, what would it be? Wow. Um, I don't know if it's so much a turning point as it is God bringing me around to a more fullness. Um... Like I said before, we got really involved in church, and um, we did a lot of things um, through our lives with um, with church and teaching others and bringing others alongside and just really spreading the gospel. But my own personal self, I didn't have any self-esteem as far as trying to do anything um, creative. I didn't have a personality that was my own. I was, it was just like, I don't know if you want to say tunnel vision or just dull and mundane. Um, God brought me along through a lot of different little things and uh, we bought a flower shop, and uh, I didn't know how to design flowers whatsoever. And 
just through the grace of God and a great teacher uh, that came anytime I needed help, I learned how to make beautiful, beautiful flower arrangements. And then um, we moved back to Traverse City and we, um, I started going to nail school. I learned how to do nails and became more creative. And then just in the last, I don't know, five years maybe, I really kind of hit my own as far as my personality goes. Um, I'm a lot more outgoing than I ever was before. Um, I have learned how to make jewelry. I do, I design hats. Um, I'm creative in uh, the, our sign at the store. They call me the sign lady. Um, you know, some of the things that are just the craziest things come in my head. And and people just, you know, you speak it and people just love you. I mean, it, it's amazing the difference in my outgoing personality that God has given me now that I never had before. And I think it just has kind of gradually come along and and just in the past five years I really kind of came into myself and I'm really um, a lot happier and you know God is in my heart and you know I, I'd tell anybody that and they just kind of don't believe that God can create such a crazy woman because I'm kind of outlandish sometimes, but that's okay because that's the way he made me. So if you had to tell someone why you are a Christian, what would you say? Well, I think I would have to say there's joy in being a Christian, even in trials. Um, for instance, um one of my employees keeps having things, weird things happen to him. And today he had a flat tire, so he was going to be late for work. And every, it seems like every time he's scheduled to work, there's always something going wrong in his life. And he said, I hate my life. Well, you know, things go wrong for Christians too. And instead of hating your life, you learn to rely on God, and that takes the sting and the bite out of those rough, bad times, and you learn how to cope better with the bad times. You handle your life in a little bit different way uh, because you're relying on God, and without having God there right beside me every step of the way, my life wouldn't be near as good as it is. I wouldn't be that happy, crazy person that I am because I'd be so burdened down by all of the bad stuff. And because we've gone through an awful lot of heartache and a lot of problems that most families don't go through. And people never would believe that we've gone through what we've gone through because we have the joy of the Lord in our hearts and God directs and guides us. And I would much rather be a Christian and be happy than to not have him in my life. So your very last question is, do you have any encouragement for us that are living for Jesus? Oh, encouragement for the new Christian from the old Christian would be... Read your Bible and pray every day. That's what my grandmother would say. Um, those are excellent words.
of wisdom. And that's not to be looked on lightly either. I think that having a close relationship with God, whether it's through song or through reading your Bible and learning, learning as much as you can about God and carrying Him with you wherever you go, however you can, is extremely important. Um, rely on God for everything. Even the small stuff. I guess that's my advice is don't sweat the small stuff. There's bigger fish to fry and uh, God provides that too. He's there for no matter what you need. He's there. You just got to ask and find a good mentor. Find someone that is um, that really is competent in the word. Um, play lots of Christian music. Sing good songs. Above all, pray and, you know, ask God to help you. That's the best encouragement I can give. Thanks for watching. Jesus loves you.